Today's topic is about the cost of living in Detroit and the immediate area of Wayne County suburbs. Let's start off with the geographical population makeup of the city of Detroit in Wayne County. The geographical land area of Wayne County is approximately 673 square miles as of the 2020 census. The population is approximately 1.8 million citizens, which makes Detroit and Wayne County the 19th most populous county in the United States. The county was formed in 1796 and there are 43 cities and or townships in the county. There are approximately 790,000 housing units with an average median value of 122,000. And there are approximately 690,000 households in the city and county with a median household income of about $50,000. Okay, let's compare Wayne County cost of living to the national averages. Overall, the cost of living in Wayne County is 12% below the national average. To break it down further, housing is 65% below the national average cost of living. Groceries are 7% lower cost than the national average. Utilities are 5% below the national average, but there is one cost of living that is above the national average. And since this area is considered the Motor City, you'll be surprised by this. It's transportation. As a matter of fact, it is way above the average. And that would one make one think that the area that involves Motor City would have a below average transportation cost. But Detroit and Wayne County is 53% more expensive than the national average. By the way, Transportation cost of living index includes gasoline, insurance, maintenance, and mass transit fare. I suspect the two major culprits of it are auto maintenance and mass transit. Our regional mass transit system is horrible and is extremely expensive for what you get. Last year I did a video regarding gas prices. The gas was $309. And this year, this week, it is $379. And a side note, if you use credit cards, some gas stations here charge a 10% premium per gallon. The station owners claim to use it to pay the fees on a credit card company's charge. This can be an issue for people that don't carry cash because you're paying 100 to 200 more per year for the same gasoline. Next up is a real estate market. I'm going to distinguish between Detroit proper and Wayne County suburbs. Detroit average sales price is $123,000 and that equates to about $79 per square foot. The rest of the greater Wayne County area, the average sale price is $221,000. That is about 140 per square foot. By the way, I recorded a video about the market shift or market crash coming. And now that it's only been about a month since that time I did that video, we are seeing a slowing in the market. To see what I mean, it was just three months ago the market was very hot. Now the average of number of July listings year over year have increased by 30% in Detroit and 6% in the remaining Wayne County area. Now for the number of homes in the market from July 2021 to 2022, the county is up almost 10% and the city of Detroit 28%. Next, let's talk about taxes, personal and property. Michigan is one of those states that doesn't, that, does ha that doesn't have a personal income tax. By the way, there are only eight states without personal income taxes. So there are 42 states that do have them. So the state of Michigan has a 4.5% personal tax, which is at the lower end of the most states on personal tax spectrum. But we do have a sales tax, that is 6%, and does not include groceries, so that's good news. Now on the side of property taxes in Detroit and Wayne County. For an average price home, taxes range from about $4,000 to $8,000 per year, depending on the city and the location. Next is homeowner's insurance. For an average price home, the insurance cost ranges from $900 to $1,250 per year. The good news is we don't have hurricane insurance. And since we don't have forest fires or earthquakes, we don't have to worry about insurance for fires or earthquakes, of course. But we do have some areas that require flood insurance. But it doesn't cost nearly as much as it costs for properties near or especially on the ocean. Next up is utilities. Since it is summertime in Michigan, we use the air conditioning about three to four months out of the year. And with the summer we've had so far, most of us have really been using our central air quite often, but the central air usage doesn't compare to the heating usage. During the winter, it can get quite cold. So we have to use our heating systems probably six and a half to eight months during the year. Most homeowners here use natural gas. 
So our electric and natural gas bills are typically considered together. An average gas and electric bill ranges over the 12 months around $175 a month. Finally, let's talk about water and sewerage. With all the concern in other areas of the country, we fortunately don't have to be as concerned with water usage. With all the water that surrounds us, water usage is a utility that most states can't beat us at. That doesn't mean we're not responsible with concern to water usage. It just means we don't have to conserve our water usage as much as other states do. The monthly amount for water and sewerage averages about $115 per month. So there you have it. Cost of living in Detroit and the surrounding area of Wayne County. If you're thinking about moving to Detroit or Dearborn or the southeastern area of Michigan, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at my office phone, 313-357-4100. If you have any comments, please leave them below, and I'll see you next time.